Michael Wargo, Team Pilot with Precision Aerobatics, and this is the Katana 52. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I am going to give you a very in-depth analysis of why this plane performs the way it does, why lightweight is better than heavier aircraft, and how it compares with, with other aircraft uh, doing XA and all of the nice uh, uh, low and slow maneuvers that Precision Aerobatics is famous for. And this is an amazing aircraft that I can fly over a lake like this, like a foamy, hand launching it and uh, hand catching it. And it goes from this to flying uh, just as aerobatic and athletic XA type maneuvers as, uh, as it possibly can. It's a pretty amazing airframe and I'm going to tell you why. There are three reasons why a lighter aircraft is always better. Between physics, gravity, and the extra mass wreaking havoc on the wing loading. There is really just no comparison. More mass simply means it takes more energy to keep it from falling or to change directions. First, the light weight enables the plane to stop and change directions on a dime. A heavy aircraft is just susceptible to inertia and inertia makes the plane want to keep coming towards the ground or in the direction that you want to change away from. The problem is when an airplane is heavy it has a heavier battery to keep it going. It has a heavier motor to power it. Wing loading is changed for the worst. Together what all this means is that the PA planes are able to do all this beautiful low slow graceful stuff that the others with the bad wing loading and heavy uh, equipment just cannot do as effectively. It looks so good because it's just not dealing with that extra weight. You just don't have to factor that in. All of the things associated with hovering like this means that you just don't have to blip the throttle and deal with all that stuff so much as you do with the heavier plane. The other thing is the plane has the ability to turn on a dime, stop from those death dives to where it, it just immediately changes the direction when I deflect the elevator real fast. These are such important aspects of it. But the beauty of what Sean did when he designed this aircraft was he understood a movement towards some XA maneuvers which involved things that the heavier planes do well, which is it tumbles and it rolls. A, a nice, really fast roll rate can also be accomplished with design. A good tumbling aircraft can be a, uh, accomplished with design. So Sean, instead of just dumping a lot of extra weight into the airplane to help it tumble and put a super powerful motor on it, we were able to keep uh, uh, the, the same acceleration and high speed on this aircraft without using that, that big a motor and those big of batteries. And this was just genius in a major way. So this plane will tumble like any plane in the business. And the aileron, the roll rate is really fast as you can see. But the plane isn't heavy. So it does all of the beautiful 3D maneuvers so well and does everything that I would ever want this aircraft to do. One of the reasons I think this is just a perfect airplane is because it just covers the entire envelope. Now more specifically, just for this airplane, I think the Katana has, again, this really strong ability to do very athletic, uh, you know, high energy maneuvers. And it really is where this plane shines when directly compared to some of the other PA models. But again, it does have the ability to do just these perfect 3D maneuvers, uh, very axial uh, Harrier rolls. The Harriers are rock solid, inverted, upright, it doesn't matter. I really love the fact that this airplane uh, is a one battery aircraft. You know, you throw one 2200 four cell in it. Um, it can even fly on three cells, uh, various props. You can get different performance characteristics out of it with different prop setups, which I actually have a video on that. Um, I think it's a very, very versatile aircraft. And as you can see, every maneuver it does, it does very well and is always light agile and absolutely perfect at all of the iMac and straight line maneuvers that you'd like to fly. 
I love the performance in the precision parts of its flight envelope. But if all you're looking for is 3D, I don't see how we can improve this airplane.